Come to Caribbean Flavors Restaurant and Bar in Charlestown for the best in local cuisine. Have your food prepared on the spot or served in a buffet-style setting with quality customer service. Get your day started right with our variety of homemade breakfasts. Try our sumptuous lunches, wraps, sandwiches, and so much more. Located at the Cotton Gin Mall, Charlestown Nevis, overlooking the Charlestown Bay. Open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturdays at 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 469-9009 or 763-5452. Award-winning filmmaker from Martinique, Mr. Patrick Bonslaw, presented his documentary, The Secret of the Fortresses of the Caribbean, at the Ministry of Tourism at Port Zante on Wednesday, during a short visit to the island. The film is part two of a series of films he has done on the forts and fortresses located across the Caribbean, and which were vital in colonial times to protect the islands from invasions and enemies. The film shown on Wednesday featured Charles Fort in Sandy Point, St. Kitts, and is one of the many fortresses featured from islands in the Caribbean, including Bonaire, Antigua, Dominica, Curaçao, and others. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Mrs. Carleen Henry Morton, spoke of the significance of the film in promoting heritage tourism in St. Kitts and the wider Caribbean. The, the, a documentary like this, I think, is very, very important where our history and our people are concerned because very often we, we know where the forts are, but we don't understand the significance, we don't understand the um, different battles that were fought over them, how many times perhaps the island would have changed hands and so on. And to see that St. Kitts was selected in both parts, I mean, because there's a part one in which Brimstone Hill was featured, and then there's a part two in which we, in which we have Fort Charles. So it tells you that St. Kitts, I, I, I am, I am thinking played a very significant role, a very dominant role in a lot mm -hmm. of the, the battles that took place. So I'm, I'm hoping that our, our, all the persons who would have looked at the documentary, that they understand the, the significance of, I suppose at one point we were the mother colony, they should understand the importance of St. Kitts in a number of the battles that were fought. And we can place it into perspective, St. Kitts is still very important now as a place where we want people to come and travel, you know, where tourism is concerned. So it is for us to make sure that we look after our history and our heritage and all of the um, different man-made and also natural resources that we have that can contribute in some way to our tourism product. She said that the film might highlight the emergence of multi-destination tourism. Who knows, perhaps with a, a documentary like this, you may get uh, a fortress tour, you understand what I mean? So you go to Dominica and then you come down to St. Kitts, you go over to Antigua, you go to Montserrat, you go to, you know, to different places. And the whole idea is that you want to visit the different islands to compare and contrast, you know, see the similarities and differences in how perhaps they would have built their, their fortresses and the different defenses and why, you know, learn the history and the, the, the different years in which you know, different islands changed hands and so on. There are people in the world who are interested in that type of thing. So we might be on to something, especially where multi-destination travel is concerned. After the presentation of the film, Mr. Bosslaw said that the documentary provides an invitation for persons to travel and visit the Caribbean. And uh, also, I think it's important um, to know the history, the heritage, because people like heritage. And uh, when people see the documentary, uh, it is an invitation to travel. Uh, no. Coconut Beach, all the Caribbean, coconut on Martinique, coconut <laughs> tree and <on> beach. <laughs> and the, the heritage, is, I think, is very important and people know heritage and culture, patrimoine. So. Mrs. Morton said, with Mr. Bonslaw's approval, the documentary will be shown publicly on the media platforms locally. The Martinique filmmaker was presented with a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Caribbean Tourism Organization in June 2017 for his contributions to tourism. He said he is working on a new film that will highlight the history of the islands in colonial times without modern technology or electricity to where they are today. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.